So, day two of uh, the DIY kicker motor mount. I want to say it was a success. Um, I'm going to start you out with um, a few pictures of uh, some still shots and then uh, just a little video over overview of uh, what occurred. Um, it wasn't easy. Um, my planning wasn't quite as thorough as I thought it would be. Nonetheless, I think we're ready for the maiden voyage and, um, you know, let's take a look and see. You let me know what you think. Crabner fishing here, Friday edition. We're uh, working on the the new fleet vessel here, DIY kicker motor bracket. You can see here, it's uh, as painful as it is. It's a necessary thing. We're putting the holes in the uh, back of the transom, which, um, if I wasn't sure before, I am now. This sucker is uh, definitely solid. Um, but here we go. I'm gonna put number two in here or no, hole number three so we can get this thing mounted and get the boat out on the water for our inaugural trip. I always find it painful to put holes in my boats, but like I said, it's a necessary evil because I don't have dual outboard motors so this kicker will serve dual purpose emergency and obviously uh, trolling got my dad here helping out Just checking on the uh, Exit holes here for us, holding the wood back. He's gonna come around the other side here, and then we're gonna get this fourth hole in and try to get him mounted. You move over, I can get in there. See, you can get him mounted here. Stand by. I'm sure you don't want to sit and watch uh, me drill holes, so stay tuned, folks. So, finally got this thing done. Had to do some additional manufacturing because uh, calculation error on my part, but um, it worked out. Got it on, got the steering bar on as you see. Had to cut it down to size, a little manipulation, but overall it works appropriately. A um, little bit of a challenge when lifting the motor up, but hopefully it won't. Uh, affect the drive or the ride too much um but yeah little homemade diy kicker motor bracket um using some i-beam steel and uh some super thick i don't know what that stuff is called but uh it is uh, almost impervious to a saw and it will work out even the best drill so we'll see how it handles going down the road and i think uh this is ready for the maiden voyage stay tuned for that crabbing and fishing is out